Hi everyone and welcome to Ask My Tablet, the show where you send in the questions and I ask my tablet. It's real simple. All right, everybody, let's go. Get your questions in for the next show in the comments. You know the drill. Be nice if everyone gave us one question each. Be cool. All right. Uh, these first one, this first one's from uh, Diana SFNG. Let me see. Okay. Sometimes a longer one she seems to have a trouble with, but let's hope she gets this one. Alexa, if the world's annual rice was grown, picked, then spread on the ground, what is the square footage of land can it cover? So far she's not saying anything. I'll try it one more time, and if she just does that, where she just, you hear a little noise, it just goes ding, then she's not, you know, doing anything. Alexa, if the world's annual rice was grown, picked, and spread on the ground, what is the square footage of land it will cover? Say that, when she does that, she won't, she doesn't even respond. Sorry about that, Diana. Okay, here's some from El Cuco. Alexa, what happens with sour cream when it goes bad? Here's something I found on the web. Some signs of sour cream spoiling can include when it develops mold, becomes discolored and very watery, and smells foul. And boy, it can smell foul, let me tell you. Okay, and Alexa, how long can the human body go without water? In extreme situations, humans can survive for three to five days without water before dying of dehydration. You know, it really doesn't seem like that long either. Three to five days and you die without drink of water. That's, that's, wow, that's pretty quick. All right. Here's one from Kim. <laughs> okay. Alexa. Why is England known for bad teeth? Hmm, I don't know that one. <laughs> she doesn't know, Kim. <laughs> okay. Nothing against anyone from England, by the way. <laughs> Here's one from Ruth Gordon. Alexa, when did the first camera come out? 1912. 1912. I mean, they had, it seems like they had cameras, though, before that, or they were taking pictures before 1912. Maybe that's the first, like, commercial verge, version. And here's some from Colleen C. Alexa, how many types of cancers are there? Here's something I found on reference.com. There are over 100 different kinds of cancer, according to the National Cancer Institute. Each cancer belongs to one of five categories leukemia, carcinoma, sarcoma, lymphoma, and melanoma, and cancers of the nervous systems. I didn't know there was that many. That's a lot. Okay. Alexa, are there more dog or cat owners in the United States? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, according to the American Veterinary Medical Association, about 38% of pet owners own dogs. 25% own cats, and the other pet lovers own birds, horses, or other animals. But, Did that answer your question? Yes. Thanks for your feedback. But um, I've had questions before, but worldwide, there are more cats. You know, people have more cats than dogs. But obviously in the United States, 38% own dogs and 25% cats, and then the others, everything in mixed together. But, uh, you know, that's, I, I, I figured that might be in the United States, more dogs. Okay, how about Alexa? How many Americans own a car? Sorry, I don't know that one. Wow, she doesn't know. 
Let's see. Here's one from This and That with Debbie Jean, or, or two of them. Kitty, what are you playing with down there? You're being silly. What are you doing? She's got something down here, a top to something, knocking it around. Okay, uh, This and That with Debbie Jean. Alexa, who invented diamond painting? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Diamond painting was invented by a company based in China named Guangdong Dazu Yue Ming Laser Technology Company dot comma limited. Well, I'd say they've done pretty good with it because it's getting real popular. Okay, Alexa, when was the first Sudoku puzzle made? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, jigsaw puzzles date back That's to 1767. Uh, it even is the S U D O K U. I said the right thing. Hmm. She's just saying jigsaw puzzles. Maybe if I just say Sudoku, 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 Sudoku. Alexa, when did the first Sudoku come out? Here's something I found on the web. According to SupremaSearch.net, Sudoku made its debut on the pages of Monthly Nicolist in April of the year 1984. Okay, so I got the answer out of her. I just had to change it around a little bit. Sometimes I can do it. Okay, I'm interested in this one, too. This is from Kim. Alexa, what is Vegemite made of? According to Wikipedia, Vegemite is a thick dark brown Australian food spread made from leftover brewer's yeast extract with various vegetable and spice additives. It was developed by Cyril Callister in Melbourne, Victoria in 1922. Hmm. There's a picture of the stuff. Kind of looks like some kind of jelly or something on toast. Hmm. Wouldn't mind trying that sometime in Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. But I wonder where you would even get something like that. Probably Amazon or something. Maybe one day. Let's see. Okay, where was I? Here's one from Ruth Gordon. Alexa, who was the first president to be assassinated? The assassinated president with the earliest term start date was Abraham Lincoln, who took office on March 4th, 1861. Yeah. Uh, here's a couple from Crystal's Pets and Plants. Alexa, what do donkeys eat? A donkey's diet consists of grass, weeds, and vegetables. Herbivore. Okay. Alexa, what do you call a baby donkey? All young equestrian animals, including donkeys, are called foals, although the term is most commonly associated with horses. Okay. I hope I got this wrote down right. This next one is from the me, the meow hogs meow kitten. I think it says. Alexa, what is the most popular kind of pizza? Are you looking for pizza? No. All right. Alexa. What is the best-selling pizza? One moment. Free grocery delivery hasn't come to your area yet, so I added pizza to your shopping list. It's <laughs> a pizza. <laughs> She's not going to answer that, obviously. <laughs> she added pizza to my shopping list. Uh, just don't charge me for it, okay? Okay, here's, here's some from Vicky G. Alexa, what U.S. city is the only city that has a royal palace? Hmm, I don't know that. She doesn't know that, and here was, I missed one of them. Uh, Alexa, what five-star general was fired in Korea? Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. How about... <laughs> Alexa, how many eggs can an American eel lay in one year? Here's something I found on the web. According to Savor.com, 
At about five months of age, she will begin laying, and over the course of the next year or two will produce somewhere between 350 and 450 eggs. Wow. Okay. Alexa, which continent has land completely covered in ice? Here's something I found on the web. According to slideplayer.com, Antarctica is almost completely covered in ice. That's crazy. Okay. Alexa, what animal can ingest anthrax and live? Here's something I found on the web. According to m.edu, animal data have suggested that anthrax spores might be able to survive in the lungs for longer than 60 days. In one study, lymph spores were detected in the lymph nodes of a monkey 100 days after exposure. Henderson, 1956. A monkey? I don't know. That's that's what she's talking about. A monkey. Maybe it's a monkey then. But it looks like it would be the same for people if they similar. I don't know. That seems that's what she says. Uh, I guess it's monkey. There's, there must be another answer somewhere though. But anyway, that's our last question. Let's see if I turned it off last night. So or overnight. So let's see if she'll do a a story or or song. Alexa. Sing me a song. A song? I thought you'd never ask. Your circuits are fused. You're feeling confused. Why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? But I'll be right here to lend you an ear. Hi, oh, hi, oh, hi, oh, hi. You feel more than something. Your heart quickly thumping. Sigh, oh, sigh, oh, sigh, oh, sigh. It sounds like to I think we've heard that one before, but just a couple times. Sometimes she surprises you and comes up with, with new ones you haven't heard. Uh, let's see about a story. She tells us one or we haven't heard so many times. Alexa, tell me a story. The hunt. Darkness surrounded her. The vast emptiness of the ocean stretched in all directions. She was limitless, yet she had only one goal in mind. To eat. The water glided smoothly across her sandpaper skin as she waved her fin back and forth, ever so slightly, not expending any more energy than was necessary. Pilotfish picked at the meat stuck between her teeth. An annoyance she could rid herself of with one quick snap, but that would have to wait. She smelled blood, just a short distance away. She swam toward the scent, slowly and deliberately. Up ahead she saw a disturbance in the water. A squid was flailing wildly as a shark circled around it below. She sized up the competition. It was smaller than her and bore a deep gash across its eye, probably from the squid's sharp beak. She could win this fight. The scars that patterned her body were proof of it. She swam deeper and began to circle the squid, waiting for just the perfect moment to attack. Just stops all of a sudden right there. Yeah, hey, we heard that one, I think, one time so far. That's not too bad. How about some jokes? Alexa, tell me a joke. What did Han Solo say to Luke Skywalker on Thanksgiving? May the forks be with you. <laughs> May the forks be with you. Alexa, tell me a joke. What did the math book tell the chemistry book? You're lucky to have solutions. I'm just full of problems. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's going to be it for Ask My Tablet today. Get them questions in in the comments so we can do another one. I think I've got, I've got eight so far, so we need at least 12. But as many as you can, everyone. All right. Thanks so much again. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that... 
so you get all my videos as soon as they come out and share with someone today and I noticed Kim from Kim Loves Artie's got a new video out go check her out that's Kim L V S A R T Y and she's got her a bell for the end of her videos now so if you all know Kim from my uh, morning devotions she does let's get trivial with Kim so check her channel out she's a great person and you'll really like her so thanks for watching everybody and have a great evening God bless. I'll see you in the morning at Morning Devotions. Bye-bye, everyone.